football is changing as we know it, from the level of clubs such as Manchester United and Barcelona to players such as Kevin De Bruyne, we are seeing a change in the way football functions. As the new footballing season gets underway, we are seeing stories such as the signing of data scientists by top clubs to aid in the pursuit of trophies, to players using data analysts to improve their salary negotiations, or predicting injuries with algorithms. It is apparent that data science is taking off the world of football. One club epitomises the benefits that can be achieved from the intersection of sports and data science. In this video we are going to introduce how data science can be used in football and explore how this club used simple techniques to gain a competitive edge. Traditionally decisions in football, especially in the transfer market, have been made on the basis of simplistic metrics, affordability or enforced by lucrative owners. But when you look at the problem it does not make sense. The transfer window is a ripe ground for the application of mathematics. Clubs want to achieve maximal returns with their limited budget. Using the vast quantities of data with mathematical optimization. you can see how it is possible to achieve tremendous returns with a smarter approach. This is precisely what Brentford did. The owner of Brentford, Matthew Benham, appreciated that not every club is destined to be elite. Through his ownership of Danish side FC Midtjylland, Benham was able to experiment with integrating data science into football management decisions. This was the training ground. Most clubs, such as Brentford, do not have the vast resources to compete with the likes of Real Madrid or Manchester City. In fact, Brentford was on the verge of bankruptcy. Benham acknowledged that there is considerable fortune available by merely remaining competitive in higher league. The Premier League revenues easily outpaced the lower division championship by a factor of 10. Through his ownership of Brentford, the club fundamentally changed the way they conducted business. They followed an approach akin to the stock market where players were viewed as appreciating or depreciating assets. The goal was to acquire young undervalued players that could be developed further, producing an appreciating asset that could be sold for a profit or used to improve the performance of the club. This is a simple buy low, sell high philosophy applied to football. A player has the ability to develop into a profitable investment or a loss and using data science principles the club was able to optimise this. One such simple model that featured in the decision making of Brentford FC is the expected goals model. Expected goals is a measure of the sum of the quality of chances. This is impacted by position, assist type, shot angle, shot type and many other factors. For example a shot taken from the halfway line has a lower probability of resulting in a goal than a shot in front of goal. The expected goals model takes in shot data and produces the probability that a shot will result in a goal. This approach has the benefit over a traditional model which uses goals and assists as it predicts the probability a chance will result in a goal. Removing much of the luck in football statistics out of the equation as well as allowing overperforming players in underperforming teams to shine. Brentford appreciated this fact and capitalised on the absence of a similar approach from football clubs, allowing them to recruit talented players at a discount. This approach was so effective that it led Brentford FC, a club on the verge of bankruptcy, to rise to a recent valuation of £300 million, as well as solidifying its position in one of the most competitive footballing associations. This case study highlights the true power of applying mathematical principles to data abundant industries and the rewards it can reap. Data science in football is not limited to player acquisition. It can be used for tactical analysis, identification of weakness, as well as evaluating the performance of previous investments, such as the development of a training ground. On this channel we explore how scientific and mathematical principles are being used to shape the world around us. In future series we will dive deeper into the implementation of specific models and the results they produce. So consider subscribing and as always, thanks for watching.